Hi everyone, here is Damien Levy. Welcome in this video for binary option and forex. Today, I will explain to you how to use my profile to take binary option trade and forex trade, and we will also look at the result and what is really the more profitable. How to take my signal properly based on the profile I send every day and the line. So let's start with Euro USD, and I will count. So each of those lines, the starting of the day is my blue vertical line at the left on my chart right here, and every line that are on my chart should be taken according to the trend or the breakout strategy that I published freely earlier. So let's start with this line. You will not take it when the price comes back to it, like that. You will take it when it breaks and after when it comes back. That's what we expect. And you take this trade for binary option at this line, it's one winning trade. Once it's taken one time in this specific configuration, we don't take it anymore. So let's take this Excel sheet and let's track the result. So we have one win and uh, it's recorded already here. So now let's come back to the chart and continue. Second line is this one. Same, you will not take it when it comes back to it, you wait it for to be broken and when it comes back that's where you take it. So if you take it on binary option, this one is also a win for one candle as we have a nice rejection. So it is our second win. This is just for the chart of yesterday. Now let's continue. Let's go to GBPUSD now. GBPUSD, the line were above, it didn't break anything, so we have no trade on GBPUSD. Let's continue with EuroGPY. So EuroGPY, here, here are my lines. So same, we don't take the trade when the price comes back to it, we take the trade when it comes back after breaking it, right here. And we expect the price to go up. This is a winning trade, so another one. We are 3 0 for now. Now let's continue. Next level. Same. We don't take this trade even if it's a win. We wait for a break and we take it when it comes back. And this trade is a win also. So we are 4 0 for now. One more. I put 1 because I say we trade with 1%, but usually we trade with 2%. And 0 0.75 is the payout that we have usually on the broker so I made an average so Euro GPY it's done to win on this one let's continue so we have now USD GPY USD GPY break it here and this one is a loss so we forget about this one our first loss so one and this one is a loss, so I make minus 1, and we have minus 1 here. Let's come back to the chart and let's just analyze a little what happened here. The price came violently here, so we don't go against it, but it doesn't break so much widely the level, the level is very near. When the level is not broken so much far, it's more dangerous to take it uh, as a continuation of the trend. But, and here happens the same thing, the candle close very near to the level, so when it comes back, it doesn't respect. But what is interesting is when the price comes back significantly down and come back to it, at this moment, it really respected, and this one is a winning trade. So it's also important to know that the, the level, when it's broken with a large amount of pips, it's better and it will work better in a transformation way that we take the, the signal. Now let's come back to all GPY. Okay, so all GPY. So we have this was this first level for the day. Red line is the beginning of the day. And so this one is broken up here and come back and this is a winning trade. So one more. I count everything, I don't uh, filter. So we have a uh, uh, basic result uh, in the worst case scenario. Same, the second level, this one. The price go up, we don't take the trade, we wait for it to break, it break up and when it touch again, this is a winning trade. 
So one more winning. Now USD CAD, or USD CAD broke the yellow line but didn't came back, broke this line and didn't came back. So we don't have a trade here. Let's come back to go to gold. So gold bounce first here and after break it to this level and when it comes back it rejects just before so I don't advise to take it when it rejects just before but I will count it as a loss anyway so this one is another loss so far we have 6 win 2 loss following blindly without avoiding any news and without any filter then the next level this one same we don't take it when it comes from here we want to take it in the opposite direction so it will be this specific trade and this specific trade for binary option 15 minute trade is a winning one more So we are now 7-2 for the day. Now let's go to NZD USD. So NZD USD. Well, this chart was a little messy because of that. So for those two lines, I will take only one. But uh, to be fair, I can count two loss if you want. I have one loss here and this one is a very tight one so I will count two loss to be fair but when the line are too close like that we will take only one line most of the time so it's not really two loss in reality but uh, and the price didn't close so much far away so that explain in my other video you can see that when the price reject just before the level we will not take the trade so we would have avoided this specific trade now let's look at the at the other level so this one didn't came back this one touch break and this is a winning trade so we have one winning trade more the next level so this one is a winning trade now we have this level broken and when it comes back it can be a tie or a little winning trade and after we don't have any more trade so I will count this one as a tie so 1 and 0 in a tie we don't lose money usually so let's come back to odd USD now so odd USD what happened this level break didn't came back this level break came back and one winning one winning exactly here following of the trend so we have one more win then uh, the level break this level and came back here and uh, so break here and came back and this is a winning trade right here so it's another win and now we have the next level just above but it didn't break so much significantly high so personally I would not have taken this trade the only trade I would have taken would have been when it gained significantly high but since it would have been touched a lot of time uh, I'm not sure I would have taken it but we can count it in the worst case scenario as a losing trade so we will have worst results uh, now let's come back to USDCHF oh no there is no more line and GBP, GPY, no so that's it for the profile only of yesterday taking every level following the strength of the market so after they are broken first touch for a 15 minute trade one candle because we are on a 15 minute chart and let's look at the result so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 win and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5 loss so it's 66 percent winning rate and we use one but usually you use two percent of your account so let's take uh, two two everywhere so it's uh, reliable so we talk in percentage of your account and you made 10 trades you lost five and you finish your day with five percent growth of your account in one day using only the profiles that I provide and as I said I made really the worst case scenario and you can take the trade in a better way if you avoid the three simple steps like if it reverse you have your level right here if the price reverse just before you will not take any more the level if the price make a range if the price stay here before the level you will not take the trade anymore and uh, if you have a very big candle going to the level a very very big candle like this one for example and the other one were very small like that you will not take the trade so all these elements uh, show clearly that you you make profit based on the profile I, I send every day and if you apply this to forex you can make even more profit than that so let's review it for example let's come back we're done I will make the uh, the Excel cheat and I, we will count it for forex exactly how much profit it would have made so the first trade let's make the same as that but with forex with the payout the real payout of forex so 2 is the uh, the size of the trade so it will not change and I will just change the the payout which will be different so let's start we will use a 5 pip stop loss and we will take the trade at the level exactly so we start with euro usd so euro usd trade going up we, t we talk about this trade and this trade we enter at the level we make 5 pips stop loss all the time and we take 10 pips profit so we made 200 percent payout on this trade so this is not 0.75 but it's 2 so we win 4 percent on this trade now let's talk about the second level second level same we enter at the level and we made it made exactly 10 pips so same you made 200 percent payout the value of two. Third trade, GBP USD, no trade. Let's come back to Euro GPY. So Euro GPY, remember this is the trade. And five pips and we let it go if we can take. Ten pips we take. And this one made fifteen pips, let's say. It made sixteen, but we might have taken uh, around six fifteen, which is three hundred percent. Now let's come back to the next level. So the next level, same. We want to take 5 pips, it didn't touch 5 pips and it made 10. So we have 200% payout on this one. Now let's look at USDGPY. So USDGPY is our first loss, I guess. So this level, it will be in the opposite direction right now and let's look at the number of pips so if we take once it's broken we enter at the level and we take five pips we are not out here so we are still in the trade and it made 10 pips so this forex trade would have win 200 percent yeah it's perfect now let's continue so this one is not a loss on forex it's a very big win with 200 percent and even way more than that but we we can stay with only 200 percent let's look at all gpy so all gpy so this level so this is our entry so the stop loss is five pips didn't touch for this specific rejection and it made five pips but after it reject down and it broke it so you can take only 100% on this one and if you see a doji very near you would have taken 100% so 
So 100 is only one on my Excel uh, worksheet. Now let's look at the next level, so this level, and let's look how much it would have made. So this same break, you enter at the level and you take five pips, didn't touch, and after it made 20 pips. So it made four times, but you might have taken, let's say, let's say 10 pips. But you see on my chart, it's clear it made 20, 20 pips, it's 400% payout. But I will count only 200% for this trade. It's a winning. This one never touch again, and that's it for this chart. Now let's go on USD CAD. USD CAD never came back again. Gold. Gold, it's a losing one, so this one is only 100% of our trade. So minus one, which is 100%. So we lose 2% here. And the second level, so the second level is this gold. Gold didn't touch five pips and made uh, 7, 7, 7, so we would have taken, let's say, 100%, only 5 pips. So this one is only, but it's already 100% payout, and we take it, and then we go to NZDUSD. So NZDUSD, what happened? This level broke down and nearly touched, but let's say we count it as a loss. So this one is a loss, so we will lose minus one, 100%. Now let's continue with the other level, so this one, we don't count it. Well, we can count two loss here, because there is two lines, but when they are closed like that, I will not take both of them. But for the worst result scenario, I will take it. Uh, tack, let's continue. So after, what do we have? We have this line broken. Sorry for that. So we have this line broken. So you enter. You enter from this specific case scenario. So you enter the line just after it's broken, five pips, and it made uh, ten pips on two candle. So this one made two hundred percent payout. Two. Now let's continue this one uh, broken up, but this one was a little breakout on me. Well, it didn't touch the five pips stop loss, but it made only three pips. So let's say it will touch, it will be a losing trade. As I said, for the worst case scenario. And now this level didn't touch again. Let's come back with odd USD, which is our last currency. So this level never came back again. And this level, so going up right here for this specific scenario. So you enter at the level, it made 5 pips, it didn't touch the 5 pips stop loss, it continued up. And going up, it made 16 pips already. So if you just stop here, you make 3 times your investment. So three times, and this is in two candlestick we would have taken this one uh, because it, they go in the same direction. They are big, so we follow the momentum. And next level, this specific level, you enter at the level once it's broken, and it would have made. Let's say you take only ten pips when this candle go down. So you take ten pips. Ten pips, it's two hundred percent payout. And let's say we have one losing one, the so little line just above. I will count it for the worst case scenario, and we lose 100% of the investment, which is 2%. Now so overall, as you can see, this is the binary option count, and the result is awesome. But it's awesome because you can really use the binary option signals that I provide, the binary lines that I provide to trade Forex in this specific way and they are very very profitable. Look, you made 5% for binary option and you make 34% in Forex. In one day, using my line, 5 pips stop loss and you scale 5 pips, 10 pips, 15 pips target profit.
So that's it for today. I hope you enjoy and you understood everything. If you want to ask me any question, uh, don't hesitate. We are already at the end of this video. Please like this video if you liked it and comment below if you have any question. Feel free also to share it on your Facebook, Twitter or Google+. If you feel like to learn how to find the best level, the same that I provide every day, you can enroll to my mentorship and you will have also access to the signals every day by a profile adapted to MetaTrader 4. I let the link of my Facebook group below this video. You can find all the information there. I wish you enjoy and you learn. Have a nice day. Bye.